course, your Vikings team finished the season at 6 and 10. Brett Favre in the headlines uh, once again. He says, This is it. I'm done. I'm retiring. Are you convinced that's the case? You know what? For the first time, I really do believe it. Right. I really do believe he's done, man. Um, you know, Why? great, great career. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do you the think legacy. he's done? What, what's different from maybe? Didn't he turn in his papers? He I mean, did, but can... he's done that before. Oh, he has. He has done that. Oh, before. I didn't know that. Yes. So you, you know what? You can get him back again once you turn the papers. So back. I changed my opinion now. So now you're not sure. I'm not sure now. Yeah. You know, so maybe I might have to lobby for that, huh? It's hard to turn down 15 million a year, right? Until they keep giving to you, you might as well keep million. taking it until they stop. No doubt about <laughs> it. Let's be real. Now that the year is over, and people always, this, this question's asked a lot, and you know, there's prima donnas walking around here, and they don't distract me from my job. <laughs> uh, Brett Favre and Randy Moss, two very high profile people. Mm. Um, does that distract you and the team? Does it maybe a better word, not distract, that's a bad word. Does it suck the energy out of a team? Because as you know, a football team and a sports team needs energy to perform. You need energy to perform, definitely, but I feel like if we were a team that wasn't on the spotlight, mm -hmm. As much as we were right. the previous years, that, that adversity would definitely affect us. But okay. with that, I mean, I mean like we're on a public eye at all costs. We had more events or more issues on our team weekly than usually teams have uh, yearly. Right. You know, so that's something that we're used to. And we, you know, I mean, it just comes with the territory, especially when you have a guy like Favre and, and Moss and all these, Jared, I mean, I mean, all these guys that we have on our team, you're going to get that media attention. So that's something we're used to. Wouldn't you prefer to be in the, the, a team like the Packers who doesn't have all that Johnny drama going on? They can just go do their jobs? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, what I prefer and what it is is two different things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what it was. I mean, we had, I mean, if we sneeze, we're on right. ESPN. Ed Werder. You know Ed ESPN, Werder on the yeah. first name basis, right? I mean, just don't let any snot come out your nose because that's going to be all over ESPN. Mm. I well mean. said. <laughs> well said. Um, and then finally, the game. Packers, Steelers. Um, who, who, who has the favorite in your mind going in? And what, what do you think is going to happen in this game, knowing these two teams and seeing them? You know what? Um, I'm anti-Packer. You have right? to be, right? You, you, can't, you can't root for or pick the Packers. I mean, let's Even be real. Even if you think they'll win, you can't pick them. I mean, that's like the Giants rooting for the Cowboys, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, I respect the Packers, and I know that their potent offense and their defense it's going to come through. So, uh, you know, it, it pains me, mm -hmm. okay, and it does from the heart, <laughs> okay, but I have to choose the Packers, man. Because you're a journalist. You're sitting in that chair. That's, that's, that's the journalist chair. And Roger, you have to, you know, you have to, content, you, you know, you have to put some pressure on him. You have right. to knock him down a couple of times. You have to make him see ghost, mm -hmm. you know, at times, because if you just sit back there, or, you know, if he sits back there in that pocket and has time, he's going to just pick you apart. Right. And the Steelers have some they played play the Ravens a couple times. And they have a pretty good nose tackle as well, so they're used to that. Yeah, stuff. you know, they have some good game plans. Uh, and you're back with the Vikings next year, guaranteed, under contract, the whole thing, if we're playing football? Yep, one you're more good. year under the Vikings. Uh, all right. Vasanth Shanko. Vasanth Shanko. Or Shank. Call him Shank. Unless, <laughs> except when he's golfing. <laughs>